A distant scream briefly pierces the unearthly silence during a cold spring morning. Like a sharp needle plunged into his eardrums, it shatters the gentle dreams of our new survivor. Well, new might be a misnomer. The world, his world, has been gone for countless days. He tried, truly, to count them, kept up with it for some time even. He knows it's been longer than two months now, but has it been three? Four? The notebook he kept his personal count in is long gone. Lost when he threw his bag on the ground when one of his neighbors had stumbled their way into his path and grabbed hold. It wasn't worth the risk. The scream was gone now, lost in his own thoughts, realizing that pleasant dreams are now just dreams of his past life. He hadn't even noticed the scream stopped. No gunshots had gone off, nor shouting from other survivors. Whoever it was is gone. I hope it was quick, he mutters to himself as the blankets haphazardly are thrown off the bed. Taking a quick accounting for his supplies, he realizes he's running low. This house, his home is no longer able to keep him safe and sustained. Food is low, and the shuffling outside has been getting louder and louder. There are certainly more than there once were, but his supplies are all but gone. It's time to step into the world once again. What can be said about Project Zomboid that hasn't already been said, whether by others or by myself? This is an early access game that has been in development since 2012, and I have been along for the ride the entire time. I've played this game for over a thousand hours easily, and have truly figured this game out inside and out, making difficulty and survival less of a challenge. But now, Build 41 has been released. An update that has been in the works for literal years that changes everything about how the game is played. And if you know anything about me or anything about Project Zomboid, then you should know what to expect. But if you are new, then let me lay this out very quickly. Project Zomboid is one of the most pure zombie apocalypse simulation games. It can be played in both single and multiplayer, though a big multiplayer update is currently next in line. And I love to tell stories. In games like Zomboid, where there's no end, no story, it is a sandbox game for you to create your own fun until you do eventually die, lend itself to fantastic stories. And now a new book is about to open. Who knows what chapters await or how long the book will last, but we can't find that out without starting to tell the story in the first place. So join me as we create a new character and jump back into the world of Kentucky post-zombie apocalypse and see what this game now has to offer. So let's play. This was his dream home. The place he worked and saved for countless years to be able to take for himself and have a place of stability. Life before this was tumultuous, constantly on the move always looking for that next job to make sure he can pay his next bill and continue feeding himself until one day out in Muldrow, our dear Mathis Gameson found a steady job. But that would only last so long. Months after he purchased his first home, the world died. And now, after finding freedom, he feels trapped again. And Mathis Gameson's story could be as long as months or years, or as short as a few 
short hours. Welcome to Project Zomboid, everybody, and welcome to the first chapter, the first day, the first few words of Mathis Gameson's story in Build 41. Now, we've taken a look at Build 41. I've probably put a few hours into it, but not too much. I could have put more, but I decided not to, uh, mostly because I wanted to not walk in and be an immediate expert. I figured a lot of my knowledge from the older versions is going to carry, but there's still a good number of new things to learn. And that's what we're going to do. We have started in Muldrow. You might be asking yourself, why Muldrow, Mathis? Muldrow isn't exactly the most resource-rich area. And while you're right, it holds a special place in my heart. It was the first town introduced into this game. It was the first town you could play in. West Point came afterward. And this is where I had my first steps in this game. In this town, where the character by the name of, I believe it was Mathis Starcraft, and then in the true real first season, I kind of consider it anyway, his name turned to Mathis Gameson. So this, while the name is kind of silly and doesn't really fit completely, this is my way of starting anew, bringing things full circle. And who knows, he may not last. So, let's take a look at who we are. We are Mathis Gameson, and we are a mechanic. Or at least, we were a mechanic. Certain things are going to help carry this over. And I tried to make him look as close to me IRL as possible. My hair's not that long, but I can kind of tie it into a little knot. His skills start with three in mechanics and one in short blunt. Ooh, look at all these new weapons. Spear, short blade, long blade, short blunt, long blunt. That's crazy cool. And he gets a little bit of a, a nice bonus. He's also a hy hypochondriac and a bit of a slow reader. Doesn't mean he's not one to le uh, not learn quickly. It just means that uh, he himself takes a while to go through books. And as always, we'll start by seeing what's left and what's useful in our own home. It may be va uh, valuable for us to just get the hell out of here uh, if things are particularly nasty uh, in the nearby area. But in the meanwhile, we're just gonna go through our house and make sure everything's good. I wanna make sure everything is clear. So, if you're new to Zomboid, welcome. I'm probably gonna avoid talking a lot about the absolute ba basics, but we will cover things as we uh, play with them, of course. Let's go ahead and close some curtains up so we can't be seen if there's any zombies nearby. Close curtains. Man, look at all all that. There we go. If you don't know what Zomboid is, let me put it very uh, clearly and concisely. Project Zomboid is a zombie apocalypse survival simulator that doesn't have an ending. It goes until you die. It is your job to last as long as possible. Ooh, this is... What is this? Light impact when used in one hand and a wooden mallet. All right, let's grab the wooden mallet. That's cool looking. And I'll absolutely grab the crowbar. If you've played anything like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead or uh, Dwarf Fortress, then you already understand there is no real ending here. It's until you die. And in multiplayer, you know, that could be a lot a lot more simple <laughs> to, to those uh, since they could shoot you and take what you have. But in single player, it's an extremely, extremely pure experience. Nobody here to stop you. Nobody here to tell you how to live. It's up to you. So I'll be trying to put my Zomboid knowledge to good use as we attempt to establish some sort of basic uh, base. I wouldn't say that where we are is where we're going to be forever. Very unlikely that that's the case. Uh, your starting house, while very valuable in a lot of different ways, uh, is never really one you want to stay in too, too long. Eventually, the hordes will come and you will be forced to make some adjustments. And how you make those adjustments and what you do after that is what will determine your success in this game. So for us, it's just the simple stuff, baby. We're just looking to get established. Uh, you might be seeing me grabbing a few things, ignoring mostly everything else. Uh, ooh, Trapper for Beginners. This is kind of on purpose. Uh, I, I basically am looking to grab some just very basic setup. So crowbar, I think will let us into some houses, uh, as well as being a decent weapon. A hammer is always good as a rolling pin is a good backup. A can opener for when we get canned uh, stuff. Uh, and a sheet that could be used for emergency bandages or uh, covering a window that doesn't have curtains. And the ripped sheets can be used as kind of ad hoc bandages, homemade bandages. And is that it? Looks like that might be it. So the house is, is safe. Uh, what we're going to do is going to go around the house and turn off all the lights. 
Is the light on in here? No. We want to turn off all the lights because if we are going to be sticking around and staying in this house for any significant length of time, um, then we need to make sure that we are keeping ourselves as safe as possible. And one of the things zombies are very good at is telling where people are simply by, there we go, looking. Uh, zombies have, you know, a sight and a hearing and a smell stat, and lights will attract them. If there's lights and me moving around and they see me moving around, then certainly that will attract them. We've got some ham, a canned potatoes. I don't think I'd, I'll be leaving soon. The issue here, let's drink, is that we have very little to put water in. We've got a cooking pot, but the cooking pot will become incredibly heavy if we put water in it. And if we look outside, one, two, three, four, four just outside across the road. Uh, let's peep across the street here and just use our house to our advantage before we go anywhere. And I would love to use the TV, but the zombies being as close as they are, it's a little dangerous. It looks like we've got a shed out there. I'd like to hit that shed before we get out of here. There is uh, potential for an axe or any sort of uh, useful tools uh, to us. Now, we're not starting as a carpenter like we did the last time around, which is not a big deal, uh, but it does mean, whoa, it does mean, oh, there's a lot of moving trees here. Either that's wind or that's zombies. Um, it just means that our carpentry skill is gonna be a pain to get up again, but we'll make it work. All right, let's actually do a little bit of fighting here. Just one girl, zombie. Whoop, crack her in the face, push her on the ground. Bock her in the head and she instantly died, perfect. She had a, a friend. I think I'm gonna wheel back and try to take care of that friend, because if we need to go back inside, I'd like minimal eyes on me as I do it. Now, I think I saw somebody else out there, but that's fine, in the, in the forest. Down we go. That mallet is doing God's work. Yep, we've got more, so let's go into stealth mode here. I like how I hit C. Um. I think I can jog? Yeah, I can jog in, in stealth mode. But if I hit C, it brings up my character sheet as well as put me into crouch mode. If it's just him, I'm gonna try and take him out. Three in the trees is a little bit more than I was expecting. But we should be fine. He's not moving very quickly. Hey, buddy. Down. Down. Come on, get on the ground. Ugh. There we go. Any chance I can grab one of them? He is looking at me. There we go. Perfect. We got lucky with the ones back being faced. Ooh, whatever. Okay. I thought for a minute they were going right for the house. I thought maybe she saw zombies moving through the windows. Gave her a little bit of a line of sight through both windows. But no, just kind of getting sprinting ahead for no good reason, really. I don't know if I like this mallet. But short and blunt is what we're good at. Oh, that guy was taking an absolute beating. And I'm assuming, yeah, this is going right into our short blunt skill. And if we scroll in, you can see his head has been beaten to a bloody pulp as we relentlessly beat it. And our weapon is all bloody as well. All right, one more. We'll already have five zombies under our belt here. Quick cleanup. Another one in the trees? Or is that just wind rustling them? Keeping our nerves on end. And are keeping our wits about us as well. All right, I want to go in here. Now. Ooh, there's a generator. Is there any zombies in the area? None. Okay. Inside will slip. First aid for intermediates. You know, I'll take it. I don't know if we have any first aid for beginners anywhere, but that's fine. Ooh, and a mug. I'd love to take this with me right now, but if I can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this door on the off chance that we need to uh, come back for this, and I don't want the zombies to get a hold of it. Now, I don't know if they fixed it. It looks like they may have fixed the uh, sprinting in place and turning around and running from a zombie. Because he used to be able, he used to have to go back like a couple steps before he'd run. I think that was just carryover from 
hard changing your direction while you are sprinting in one direction and then hard changing the next. All right, we have a a mug, so I'm gonna swing back in here real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink real fast. Nothing to, we have no soap unfortunately, but we're gonna fill our empty mug up and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this fresh ham. And we're gonna eat the peas, frozen and all. Well, frozen green treats, and we're gonna get out of here. Is this where we wanna start? I don't know. I think we're just gonna maybe hit up some nearby houses, see how difficult and dangerous it is for us, and then make a judgment call from there. We have a vehicle here too. Let's get down to sneak mode. And the big, big danger, ooh, broken windows, is gonna be zombies. I think the car moved, but that just might be me. I hear one. Definitely hear one. Ooh, two. Okay, she looks like she saw me. Ooh, three. Alright, what well, we're gonna do, it's gonna line of sight them. Try to, anyway. Just the one. If I can get one. Come on. Hello? That's fine. Okay, now it's not fine. I'm I'm gonna check to make sure there's no zombies on the wall over here. Dang it. Alright, you know what? Her first. Get up. Get on the ground. Stay down. Quick and clean. She never even saw me coming, which is nice. Ooh, one of them didn't even make it around the corner. So let's go ahead and up to her. Hello. Down on the ground. Thank you. And you're dead. Perfect. Ooh, an annotated map. That's huge. Okay. Now we want to clear her out. Good, good. Get her on the ground. Swing up to her head. Bash her in the face. Dead. Okay. Let's keep our backs to the wall. Crouch down for a minute. And let's see what this annotated map says. It might not be Muldrow. It is Muldrow. There's a gun in Spiffo's and there's trouble near the motel with drugs here. Don't know what this cross means, if, if this means anything. All right, so if we can orient ourselves, we could find our way at least to getting a gun in Spiffo's. The problem is it's just a block away from the motel and I know the motel well. We'll keep this on us just in case, but let's keep moving for now. Locked door? I'd love... Okay. Ooh, somebody's... He's trying to get out of here. She's trying to get out of here. I wonder if the window's open. Okay, we're just gonna bop out and just crack her on the head. Oh god, there's another man there, but that's okay. Hello, sir. Can I interest you? And stop hammer time. It's a song. It's one of the, you know, from the 90s, right? Well, actually, is it out yet? I don't know. This game takes place in what, 91? Yeah, it's, is it out? It's gotta be. Is it a 90s song or is it an 80s song? It's been so long. There should be at least one more. Look at the blood on the ground from the broken glass. I'd love to clean all that up. Now, I swear there was another, but I could have gotten them all. We'll do a quick search, and we'll have the two houses that we started next to safe, clean, and secure. I'd like to get in here, yeah, without having to go through the broken glass. Now, I don't know, can I clean the broken glass without cutting myself? I hope so. Remove broken glass. All right, now we've got two windows. Go ahead and turn this off. We've got two windows we can escape out of. Three, actually, that are clean and safe. I'm nervous about going through the rest of this house, though. Okay. 
We're just gonna go through very, very slowly before we worry about looting anything. Okay, clear on the first floor. The two busted windows immediately mean we do not want to spend any long-term time here. No overnights, none of that. But slowly making our way through with stealth is exhausting us bizarrely, but is going to be the way to do this. Let's turn this off. What I'd like to find sooner rather than later would be some sort of backpack. I thought that shower head was a zombie for a minute. Anything to be able to store my stuff. If I can carry it and remove this fairly heavy load, it's gonna not exhaust us nearly as quickly, and there we go. A hiking bag at our beck and call. That's fantastic. Has a space of 20. How much does it lower it by? Weight reduction, 70. All right, let's start throwing things in our bag. We have a mug of water. All books can just go right in there. I'm gonna keep the crowbar out. The rolling pin will go in. The annotated map for certain. The ham will go in for now. I don't know if a belt would be good, but like a tourniquet, you would think. Sheet can go in there too. Okay, let's keep looking. Already we have ourselves a nice backpack though. And that goes a long way into making me feel a lot safer about everything. Tweezers, plunger, I don't know what a plunger would be for beyond a very bad weapon. But tweezers are going to be good if we need to pull glass out of our body. In case we do have to power through a window in a panic mode. That apparently is off already. And everything seems to be relatively clear here. I don't know... I can wear headphones? I mean, I can equip headphones? How bizarre. And none of the clothes that we've come across, or at least the first bit that I've looked at, are any better than what we've got now. Our blunt is already heading well on its way to level two. I'd love to find some stuff to repair this if I could. And we're gonna have to start disassembling sooner rather than later as well if we do want to start working on our carpentry skill. But in the meantime, Grab a couple forks, because we could do some spears out of them. Saucepan is going to be great for some water. Turn on what? No, 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 no. Turn off. Fill. Let's get the saucepan filled. Beautiful. And we'll drink. How are our clothes right now? All looking all right. A little bloody and a little dirty. But if we take a look at our protection stats, it's really our, gr our legs and our feet that are best protected. Our shirt isn't doing anything for us. So if we could find something. I'm going to take the bleach as well. Uh, if we could find something to clean it with. Or rather to wear his armor, not clean it with. Uh, we'd be in, a good, in good shape. All right. Again, all the basics. I think we can bounce out of here now, feeling a little bit more confident in our situation. I want to make sure each one of these zombies has been fully searched to make sure I didn't leave a key to that car. Because cars are also incredibly useful. We are mechanics as well. So working on uh, getting our electrical skill up so we can immediately start hot wiring is going to be good. We could become nomadic very, very quickly. And it might be the way we want to go. Okay, we- Ah, there's a- You're kidding me, there's a friggin' key in this thing?! Okay, hold on. We're gonna have a working car right away. Uh, let's take a look at the mechanics real quick. I wanna see what this car's- like, what kind of shape we're in here. Wow, this car's in incredible shape! It's all... just vein damage. It's all vein... Decoration. Oh, we want this really badly. A dash elite. Okay. Well. Let's start moving. We might as well use what little gas is here. Ooh. I haven't used vehicles in the new build yet. There's a 
batch of zombies. All right, let's pull out here. It feels different, better, less sluggish, maybe? I don't know if it's just because of the car and I'm just not used to it. The new, the, the new noise is great, too. Yeah, we've got some zombies kind of everywhere. All right, we've got enough gas to kind of pull us far enough away. So I think what I want to do is get a few blocks out, park, and then maybe ooh, 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 try and loot that area. Hello. Whoa. There's so many. The other good thing is by driving the car through here, we'll start clumping some of these guys all together as well. Alright, alright. This is good. Is that the medical office? I think that's... Are we near where I think we are? Killed one. Had to try. Had to give it a shot. Ooh. Right, I think we're going to go down here where the fence is. Mostly because I think this is going to be a little bit less occupied and there's a police car. Are you kidding me? There's so many cars. Look at them all. These guys are just chomping away. We've got a big ol' group on us. So here's the plan. I'm going to whip around the corner here. Go around the block. Back up. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. This car is disposable. To me. Alright, I'm gonna park this here. Mathis, why are you getting out here? Well, Mostly because I think we're going to be fine. And I want to, uh... Clean up... What stragglers I could see. And we're getting real good, real quick kills with this mallet, so we're able to. Oh, we bashed her skin right off and exposed her skull. Instantly. Beta blockers is such a good grab. Beta blockers will help me deal with my panic. I'll take the baseball cap just because it's cool. Run speed modifier, scratch defense compared to what? My jeans? Bite 1020, 1020. It's even. I'll take the vitamins. I'll take the jacket for sure. We'll throw it in our bag for now though. It's bloody and we might want to wash it before we put it on. Hello, sirs and madams. I am going to try and clear you out. Back up. This is fine. Two is going to be a bit much for us right now, I think. So what I'm going to do, leaving that car there. And we're just going to walk. I don't want to tire myself too much out. Where's my ham? Did I eat my ham? Oh no, there it is. We're just going to eat half the ham. And we're going to walk from here on out to the north a bit. This is the motel, so this is dangerous, I believe. Uh, but we are near where I thought we were. So we need to go north a bit, and I think the trouble was the where the police car was. We're just gonna sneak a bit and just jog. I'd love to really peep this map again if I can. Yeah, we gotta keep going north. So we're gonna keep going north and we might be able to end this with a gun in our hands on episode one. Alright, I'm just gonna keep sneaking. Got a big old group pretty much everywhere. Ooh, a solo a nurse with scrubs on. We might fight her just to see. Oh, maybe she's not. Maybe it's just a dress. Still might fight her though. Come on. I don't like that he bops and then he pushes. I wish he would just keep bopping like that. Okay, we gotta move. 
I didn't realize I was drawing so much attention. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sorry, I was just leveling up. I'll see you later. Yeah, we got stragglers. Look at these pockets of zombies. So I am playing, in case you're curious. I figured for the first run, we'd play on the new survival mode. There's three modes. Survivor, survival, builder, and something else. Um, and they all are varying different degrees of difficulty. Spiffos. So there's a gun in here. And I decided to play, obviously, on the survivor mode. The what is most difficult, but also... Uh, what I feel like is going to provide me a fair enough challenge with my level of experience in the old base game. Alright, if I can get into Spiffos here without drawing much or even any attention, this could be good. Alright, let's see if we can get in the front door quietly. If we have to, hopefully we can just blast through the back door. I hate it. Let's move forward. They've been slightly aware of my presence. So we're gonna we're gonna do a wide loop, I think. We're gonna hit the woods, bang a left. These trees look great. And we're gonna try again a bit here. We're just gonna try and lose them in the trees. Try not to touch any of the tree trunks, because if we do, that's when he starts having to push through them like that and causing noise. There's a zombie right there. Just barely see the legs of the trees. There's another one coming up on this side. So we're gonna go over here. Hello? Say goodbye for now. Were they eating this one or did this one I hit? Everybody's moving. I'd love to just run in and get that gun if I could, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's gonna be possible. Maybe we'll just mill north a tiny, tiny bit. And if we go north, we'll find a place we can hole up for a tiny, uh, maybe a day or two, and slowly whittle around. We might have our first objective here in Spiffos. A gun is infinitely useful. Especially in the new build, so I'd love to make that work. Alright, so. We got three after us. A bakery and a quick zippy mart here. If I look inside the window, it looks like it's clear. So I want to kind of just keep going away from it. Oh, man. All right, let's pop up and let's just walk. Stealthing is, is not working out for us right now. Our skill just isn't high enough for it to be valuable in this very specific situation. There's too many zombies. If we were dealing with one or two, maybe. But the, the amount that we're dealing with, the packs and packs and packs and packs of them, that's gonna be a problem. We're playing on survival, like I said, so this means that the zombie apocalypse has been going on for months now. I hate that this gate doesn't do anything. It doesn't disappear when I walk next to it. I want that garbage bag very quickly, thank you. Uh-huh, there's a banging at the door, let's go. And there's a fence here, which we're probably gonna end up using. Oh god. Oh god, that was almost the end. There was another one around the corner. They grabbed onto me, but we got out. Apparently, if I sprint, if you sprint towards fences, you'll climb them now. Nope. Incorrect. I thought, okay. We can climb it normally, maybe just, uh, hip, hip tall fences or something. Okay. Locked. There's one there, but what are you, what are the chances it's the only one? I'm gonna go with incredibly low. Whew. It's a pack and a half. Let's move. How does this look like when you open it? Nothing. It just shakes like it's locked. So, let's see. If I run, there we go. He will hop over it, sprinting. If he's, if it's uh, hoppable, basically. Bunch of storage units. Get up. Get down. Sorry. 
Nothing personnel, but this house is over here and it's getting, I imagine, kind of late. The sun definitely looks like it's starting to go down, so I want to get into a place that I can at least call mine for the night. All right. Are you coming over? There he is. All right, let's see if we can take this one out first. She seems like eager to uh, go down. Okay. Walkie talkie I'll just take because we can at least disassemble it for electronic skills. Pop that back in my bag. Did he just, okay. Let's come over here, let's grab his attention. It looks like we'll be able to have a, a relatively safe spot for the evening. Come on. Get on the ground. God, Jesus. Back up. Okay. Please don't be many over here. If I wheel this corner and there's like a pack of them again, I'm gonna be mad as hell. There's so many still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus Christ, man. Right, that house is mostly clear. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna swing over here, pop this fence, walk wide back and try and just take that house for the night. Actually, you know what? Come here. Let's pull as many of them as I can away. Ooh, he's got a cowboy hat on, that's neat. Oh God. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, we have beta blockers, so let's take a beta blocker. Quickly pop an open thing of pills just to pop another one. Bring that panic down. We're getting a little on the tired side, so this is gonna be a problem for me. Okay, oh, we fell, we fell. Get up, get up, get up. I really, I scraped my knee. Oh, and I'm starting to limp. Okay, here's what the plan is. Get up. Huh? I can't see. Up. Down. Hell yes. Okay. Crouch. Slowly. Slowly make our way over here. Now, we haven't been able to peep the windows yet. So it's possible there's a zombie in here. Come on, get that window open. We might... Let's get this in our primary. You know what? While we've got blood going, we really need to be bandaging this up. So let's bandage our knee. I can't be leaving blood trails. Come on. Really? And then there's a dude there. Come on. I'll take you out real quick. Come on. Okay, good. It's a stomp. Okay. What an intense first day surviving. It's far from over. There's a couple more still around. One, at least two, but this one's going over there. I was kind of hoping we'd see maybe she'd plop down into all fours and start eating the body, but maybe because it's not fresh meat. Can't have you around, unfortunately, girl. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, madam. Thank you. I'll take the pen, because I think we can use that in emergency as well. I need to get into this house. The exhaustion is, is starting to dictate 
how much further I can do and push this, so let's really try and get inside here. Come on. Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Uh, I would love to add a sheet to this window real quick. Just to close it. Thank you. Is the light on? No. Okay, we're just gonna have to play it safe. I'm gonna use the refrigerator while I can. We're gonna keep the ham as fresh as possible. Let's go ahead and wear the baseball cap. Can we wear it in reverse? I think it, I think I saw it says reverse. Reverse cap. Oh yeah. Any bathroom zombies I need to be aware of? Fill my empty mug. And the fact that we're getting tired is is a good kind of sign as to where we are in the day. If we honestly If we can just get a watch... Let's turn this off. Let's take that light bulb. Um, ooh, look at this. This is actually great. So, I'm actually gonna go ahead... ...and toss this jacket, and we'll take the better look, the, the clean one for now. There we go. Still no watch or anything, unfortunately. Was the bathroom light off? It looks on. I don't know. I'm assuming it's on. Let's just close it so we can't have the light filling this room. And I think... We'll have the tomatoes for dinner. Fruits and veggies. They're good for you. Well, Mr. Gameson. We survived our first day in the new build together. Looks like we've got quite... A busy few days ahead of us as we desperately attempt to find something safe in the neighborhood. But for now, our mallet levels are almost up and our base sneaking and stuff is starting to go up. And as this goes up, the safer we'll get. But for now, let's go ahead and remove this. Let's make sure we do not get an infection. Scratched, by the way, is not from the zombie. It's from the uh, <laughs> landing on the ground and ripping our leg across. I think we'll just go ahead and maybe do a little bit of reading while we still can. We'll unpack it. Throw the light bulb in there. Ooh, the key doesn't have a key ring anymore, I just realized. I wonder if we can find a key ring then. Alright, let's start to read a little bit. Oh, and he actually has a nice little reading animation, but he's a lot slower of a reader than our old boy used to be. I think for now, sleep. Time to get to bed, Mr. Gameson. It's been a long day. Let's hope the zombies don't break in overnight. <laughs>